Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a contingency table to a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to use the example table that we can create here in lines 3 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that a new table appears here at the top right of R Studio. And we can also have a look at this table by running line 6 of the code. And now you can see that here at the bottom of our studio in the R Studio console, our example table is shown. Now let's assume that we want to convert this table to a data frame in the R programming language. Then we can use the S data frame matrix function, which is already provided by the basic installation of the R programming language. So if we want to apply this function, we simply need to specify within the function the name of our table. So in this case, we have called our example table myTab. So if we specify myTab within the sDataFrame matrix function, we can create a data frame. We can store this data frame um, here with this part of the code. So if you run this whole line of the code, you will see that a new data frame object appears here at the top right, which is called my data frame. And we can also have a look at this data frame by running line 10 of the code. And now you can see our table was converted to a data frame. Yeah, so this is basically all I wanted to show you in this video. So as you have seen, the conversion of contingency tables to data frames is relatively simple in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more about this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the conversion of contingency tables to data frames in R. I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of this video and furthermore if you have liked the video of course I would be very happy if you give me thumbs up on the video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications about videos that I'm releasing in future. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.